This video is made possible to you by Adobe Premiere Pro. Without them, I wouldn't be able to bring you such quality content and editing. All footages in this video belong to the rightful owners and all rights is owned by Netflix themselves. I would like to take this time to appreciate them for their hard work in bringing such an outstanding series into fruition. Thank you and enjoy the rest of this video. Okay, atypical. <sighs> This is by far one of the best TV shows I've seen on Netflix. Then again, I say that about almost every Netflix TV show. What can I say, Netflix? You've won my heart. Atypical is a story that focuses on Sam, an 18-year-old teenager who is on the autism spectrum. Oh, and before further notice, I hope I do not offend any other viewers. It is because of you I make these videos, and the last thing I want to do is to trigger you. So like I was saying, Sam is an 18 year old on the autism spectrum who goes day to day on his life visiting his therapist, Julia, as he tries to make sense of what exactly is normal, and I say that with quotations. His sister Casey is his day to day help at school, but what happens when Casey decides to leave off to college for a better choice? Find out more about that as you embark on Sam's journey to get a girlfriend. So Atypical is one of the best TV shows I've seen so far on Netflix. I know I've said that the second time so far and I don't know, this show really touches you deep down. I mean sure this show may be about things you may not know too much about. I mean personally to me I have not heard much about autism until this show actually released and I think it's one that actually enlightens you on the idea there are different types of people out there. I obviously knew about autism, I just really never focused on it, but this show really opens up my eyes to it. I really like this show and I really hope it's successful. I feel like this show was released due to the success of the recent counterpart, 13 Reasons Why, which won a lot of awards from what I've seen. So yeah, basically this show focuses on, like I said, Sam, an 18 year old, and Casey, his sister. Mostly on Sam because most of everything that goes on in this show is a butterfly effect of what he does on his day to day life. His dad is trying to have a reconnection with his son while his mom is trying to find her way through life in having an affair and his sister was trying to figure out exactly what's up with her family. This is one heck of a family if I've ever seen one. So yeah, at the end of the day, though this series may be short, it has about 8 episodes long and each episode is titled differently. Atypical, it's very, very good from what I've seen. I really loved it, I enjoyed it, I would love to rewatch it. You know what, I just might go ahead and do it right after this. So yeah, let me get to the little details and the little basics and the things I really liked about it. So, Sam is a hilarious character. He's fun, he's talented in a lot of ways, he has such great artistic shows and skills. If you've seen my channel, you know I'm a big fan of art. So yeah, Sam has by far the most weirdest friend. Uh, I forgot his name, the Indian guy, but yeah, um, he is very funny and likes to show off a lot, which is one good attribute to have as a friend, I guess. Anyway, so going back to Sam. Sam has a lot of things going on with him, trying to figure out what exactly is normal. He goes to a high school where hardly anyone gets him. And he is trying to find a girlfriend considering the fact that he's 18 years old and he's been kind of caged in by his mom socially. So yes, it's kind of rough for him. And I understand as a kid, it's kind of rough going out there. But as a kid with autism, I feel like it's even more harder. And I want to just say thank you to all those autistic kids out there who still go on day to day trying their hardest. We're rooting for you guys. Keep going. Now... I really enjoy Sam's interest towards Antarctica, I mean he says a lot of cool facts that I actually didn't know, like the first researchers who actually figured out what penguins were classified them as fish. That I did not know, I really did not. Sam really enlightens my ideas on what exactly humans are like towards other different people. And I really like that idea that Sam, this story is told from Sam's perspective, it's not like a third person's view or maybe a fourth person's view if that's even a thing. It's told by his perspective of things and how he sees life. He, a lot of people see him as being non-empathic or n having no empathy but the thing is he has more empathy than the average human. He has more than most actually. He sees a lot of things that most people don't notice. He doesn't make sense of a lot of things that you would think is actually normal. Like you just going on. For example, let's say on a day-to-day -day basis, I would go on to a girl and maybe give her a pickup line like, Hey girl, you're looking nice today. To him, he would say, 
Well, I mean, she's looking nice. Obviously, she always looks nice. Why would you take only one day to compliment that? Yes, he's right on his tent, but to me, that's a day-to-day -day normal thing I would do. But to him, it's strange. And I really like that about him. It gives me a whole side of perspective. It's as if it's talking to me directly, which obviously it is. But yeah, this show is by far one of the best shows. And this is probably the third time I've said that. Sorry, Netflix. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's really all I have to say. I wanted to make this really quick video because, I mean, there's a whole bunch of Defender stuff that's coming up later on this Friday. And I just wanted to release this video as quick as possible because I wanted to take time to appreciate this video and appreciate Netflix for the good things they've been doing for us. So, yeah, I hope you guys had a great day. Please make sure to watch Atypical and make sure to write down all those authentic facts. It will be on your test next time. Have a great day. Peace out. See you later. Stay classy. Forgive me for my wrongs. I have just begun.